hey, would you believe I want to be talking about how to salvage your wedding before you ever have it? That's not being pessimistic about your marriage. Not that I'm optimistic, personally. But if you're thinking about getting married or you got a child that's going to get married and you're paying for it and or your child is getting married to somebody and you want to see them have a nice home, well, here's an idea. How do you salvage a wedding by having a salvage wedding? What's that mean? That means you have all the parts you might want for your little tiny cottage that you're going to start off your life with as part of the decorations at the wedding. It might be a beautiful set of windows. It might be a, an incredible door or two. It might be some flooring. The samples of it show what it's going to be like. It might be um, the walls, the floor coverings, the ceiling coverings, beaded board, a sink for the kitchen. What you do is you have sort of a gift list instead of going over there and buying your gifts over at the big box store or trying to get them on Amazon and send them to you. People can actually go out there and get you a very unique item because you picked it out because it's be part of the house you want. So you're going to be able to go ahead and create your tiny love cottage and then grow it later on. Now if you go to my site or Tiny Texas Houses where I've shown houses I made in the past, I don't make them for anybody anymore, but imagine getting all the materials and being able to build it where you are, tiny enough, be portable. Portable is key because you can move it away later. You might be on the back 40 of your uncle or your aunt or your grandpa. A wedding is when all your friends come in, all your relatives come in. It's when everybody you know that might be able to help shows up. And guess what? You could put one of these houses together in about three days with the right kind of help. If they come knowing they're going to be able to help and grandpa's got the skills and uncle's got some tools and you got a couple good strong backs and you're working together in coordinated fashion like a family is potentially capable of doing, before the beer gets too thick and whatever happens at the later time of the day, you could accomplish some cool things in a couple of days time. So imagine if your wedding, salvage wedding, was a bunch of beautiful windows and you want to see them go on my, my blogs. I've got pictures of beautiful arched windows I should have on here right now, but I'm not prepared for that. And you can have doors. I have 2,000 to pick from. And so what happens is you have now wedding composers that help you go out and compose, pick out the pieces you want, and stage them. Because nowadays, with the various threats that people are concerned about, some people don't want to be too close to each other, so outdoor events are going to grow in popularity. So if you're not just going to have a tent, you might want to have some chairs, you might have some other things, but you can also have some really cool decorative elements that allow you to have dividers with doors that make one person's table not right next to somebody else's table, even though they're close, there's dividers. And it's very easy to assemble. So one of the things I want to do is offer up a chance for young kids and others to be able to go ahead and have a business of what? Coming out and helping you assemble parts and pieces to create a wedding setting, mm -hmm. a salvage wedding setting. And as people come there, they might want to buy you that cool window, that beautiful piece of stained glass, that wonderful sink. And then they're going to be taking their picture with you in that sink. And then within the year, you're going to have a house built, preferably within a few weeks. Because if you have the right relatives come, no problem. Our Chinese houses have kitchenette, shower, bathroom a bedroom, a little living area, nice porches. And if you're living out on the ranch, something like that, getting started for your first few years, that's plenty. Texas was settled on houses that were 10 by 16, a lot of cases, starting out. And they added on as they needed another room, another house, you build another bigger house, and the smaller house, there's always somebody there to fill a smaller house. It might be your grandpa you need, or your gardener, or somebody else. But as you start with a tiny house, you can grow that into a mansion, if you need that. But if you don't, you can also grow it into more houses. Build a little bigger one, build, build a nicer one, especially if you get into the salvage wedding business. You could be out there setting up salvage weddings. And what does that mean? Helping bring people in to go ahead and show them. I've got tons of warehouses full of these things. And if you want to get into the business of it, I'll help microfinance you and fund you. And if you have a setting, a wedding you want to set up and you got everything going along, I'll fund it all and, and front the parts and pieces to go out there and Make it all happen. You supply the labor and the trailer and set it up at the wherever it needs to be. I'll help design the layout, even go out there in some cases, and help you set up a cool wedding with all sorts of beautiful architectural elements that if the people coming to visit were to buy a few of those, you might have a house. But more importantly, if they brought their tools, if they brought their knowledge, if they brought their love and turned it into action, human action, love is a powerful thing. 
coordinated and you get a few carpenters and a roofer and wow abracadabra a couple nail guns and screw guns and you got a house in three or four days what a gift so i'm suggesting in this day you might consider import free toxin free if they have a baby on that first night of staying in that beautiful beautiful place conceived in a toxin free import free totally made with love out of treasured salvage from the past the nicest best woods you can have and it'll last a lifetime no sheetrock this is a way to do it sustainably this is a way to live that carbon footprint you want to talk about living you could not recycle more than a 95 percent pure salvage house and that is possible with the help of friends you can have samples of the flooring you love and they might buy you 150 square foot of it that's enough to do a whole house that's $300 for a gift or $500 for a gift to you to have the floors that you'll walk on for many years. You can have ceilings, walls, same kind of thing. That's your salvage wedding. You're going to have salvage wedding that you can salvage and turn into a home with the energy of all those people there for a few days time. Celebrating. Having a house raising. R-A-I-S-I-N-G. I already did the house raising spelled R-A-Z-I-N-G. I got warehouses full of doors and windows. So... What are you planning for your wedding day? What are you planning for an occupation afterwards? How about salvage wedding business? That means taking out the beautiful windows and doors that somebody loves and they can don't have to be extravagant. They're building a tiny first house. If they want to be extravagant, they got friends that'll pay for it. It could be pretty, pretty. But what it is is you could actually have a rental package. You rent the package. If nobody loves you, nobody wants to buy a piece, you might have spent a thousand dollars to have ten thousand fifteen thousand twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff windows and doors all there if everybody you knew got together and bought all the doors the windows the flooring and all that stuff that you would need and they spent twenty thousand dollars and put three or four days into it you might have a house a beautiful house that i help design i'm more than glad to help you design with space magic something that'll last you a lifetime this is what I can do for kids. My son's gone. He'd be 37 by now. It's been 11 years. There won't be any weddings. For you, please, not only a wedding, allow me to help you salvage a home, a future, a career. Out of the old world where it might have been a honeymoon, you go off and now you got to get the jab, got to wear a mask the whole time. You got to kiss in the mask on your date, take pictures of yourself with a mask on all over the world if you wish. If you get back without any trouble through all the airplane problems and all the shortages and the sudden stoppages and who knows what could happen in this day and age to take you away from your family after the wedding. Please. Why would you want to go ahead and have a honeymoon when you can have a real honeymoon that lasts a lifetime. A tiny house. Costs less than an expensive wedding because you're gonna get all these beautiful props and you can put them in a lot of places. You need somebody, a group, a trailer to come up and pick them all up and stand them up, put them up, put posts to the ground and attach them to them for the event. Lots of ways you can do this. Make a beautiful setting. If your family goes along, if your visitors go along, if your friends go along, and they all want to help you have a salvage wedding, you'd be amazed how many people have skills to come in there and help you put that together quickly. And not only are they helping you put it together quickly, they're giving you their advice, their experience, and all the things you don't have to do it with. Now, where are you going to put it? Tricks and tricks and tricks. You got to know the tricks. So, first of all, it's portable. That doesn't mean you put a trailer under it. Please don't put a trailer dedicated $10,000 underneath the house. You may never move it. You may love where you're at. That one you got, a trailer house. So build it so that you can pick it up, put a trailer on it, move it down the road with a semi truck, pick it up and take the trailer away. It costs you a few grand more, but not that much more considering you're gonna build something that's a treasure out of all wood, no sheetrock, no toxic materials that are gonna kill your potential to have children. Part of the reason a lot of people get married at least the grandmas and grandpas like me that'd be kind of what i'd want you to be doing the 66 i'm looking at it like what am on earth are going to do to help kids get started because the home is getting too out of reach tiny houses to start with kids 
in the old days when I was born, in the 50s, a 750 square foot house, 750 square foot house, it was a big house. The Sears catalog cottages at the time were five, six, 750 square foot was the common, you'll see them all over the place. I drove through Seguin today, Seguin, Texas, in a neighborhood where 50% of the houses were catalog houses starting off at square footages of under 700 square feet. Now, if you're tricky and make your loft under four foot six on the sidewall, under five foot eight at most of the roof, except the center where I walk down, you can have your second floor be considered storage space and not be counted on taxes in Texas. And I'm really big in not having to pay too many taxes. And so you can do all this. And if you do it right, you can even have somebody who donates some money to pay for it, depreciate it in 10 years and have a depreciated asset as a business, a B&B &B or something like that. There's all sorts of things you can do with these things. Because once you build it, oh, you may have a job. What's that job going to be? It might be setting up salvage weddings. If yours is successful. If you can put a wedding together and you and your friends can put somebody else's wedding together whereby after it's done, all the parts and pieces will turn into a house within a few months time on a place you can live in. If that's not a love nest, I don't know what is. If it could last you for years and you can pick it up and take it away when you're tired of living with the people you're living with, or you have to move or the job takes you someplace, take it down the road. I've shipped them to the Badlands of North Dakota. I've shipped them across to Ohio, Oklahoma. I don't want to do it and I'll tell you how to make it easy, but honestly, this little short video under 15 minutes gets you the entry to possibly checking into having a micro-funded job that out of your wedding you get a house, you get an occupation, you go help other people set up their weddings in other places. And what it takes is a trailer and a truck and a group of guys and a family that supports them, all making the plan together to create a home. And I'll supply the materials. And guess what? No cost if you want to go ahead and finance it, no interest. How easy can I make it? Barter? You want to barter for some parts and pieces? You can barter. You buy the parts and pieces. You rent them to start with, you can bring them back if you don't end up selling any of them to yourself through your company, your friends and others. And they'll be yours if you want to build your house, if you happen to get the money and somebody will put it together. I'm just not putting it together. I don't build the houses anymore. I have massive warehouses full of great materials and I'd love to see them now go to what would have been my son's generation and others so they can go ahead and build their dream. Please. How about considering helping somebody do a really cool wedding as a wedding, there are people actually do this for business, and make it a salvage wedding where the parts and pieces you use could create the most incredible Victorian cottage within a few months of being done and the kids start off with a dream house. This is what I propose. How many of you will take me up on it? 13 minutes, 14 seconds. I'm almost out of here. This is rare for those of you who don't know me. So, Tiny Texas Houses. We made many models from 10 foot by 12 foot, 10 by 10. You can do all sorts of sizes. I recommend about 11 by 15 with a nice upper floor. We have one in progress over there that's been in progress for a while, a gypsy style. I highly recommend that style of house. I've got lots of videos. Just pick out the parts and pieces you want and then, hey, bring the right people together. Let's make a dream come true. Be a house, not a honeymoon with a bunch of pictures you sent back to everybody with your mask on. And, 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 and please don't use a forged card across to Canada. $50,000 fine if you get caught. So stay in America. Have a beautiful wedding. Don't make everybody have to go all sorts of places they don't need to go to make something beautiful happen. I'm going to go ahead and get on my way. I want to thank you. And I'm going to put this on YouTube. I'm going to put this in a few different places. And we'll see well, you know, if there's any traction. I'd love to help more people get started doing this. And I have massive amounts of inventory to work with. It's not for the money, kids. It's to help you get started so that you will have a chance at a dream come true. Y'all take care. Much love.